I figured I'd mention something real quick as a little lesson on the sawmill. I haven't talked about the sawmill in a while and well, pretty simple. It's because I haven't used it in a while. And now that's causing me problems. So I guess about a month ago now, I hadn't run it for several months and I had to go through the gas, of course, had rotted. So I went ahead and it drained out the gas um, and had to use carbon choke cleaner actually to get it started. And then with the fresh gas, I added in uh, some sea foam and some stable just to help stabilize it. Duh. Um, but I was able to get it started again and uh, got it running and, you know, fully revved up, running clean, kind of washed through that fresh gasoline to hopefully clean out any sort of gum. Uh, but today I just went to start it again and I got it started and then I went to check my water system and I've had this happen before because I've just got a bucket and I'm sitting out here in the full sun, I will get algae growing in my bucket and then it will plug up my little valve there. It'll plug up the valve here and it'll even plug up just in the drain line itself. I knew it was going to be in there, so I went ahead and pulled the drain line apart, uh, opened it wide up, tried to flush water through it, blew through it, got it cleaned out, but in the process of fighting with the hose, I broke this right here. This hose is real brittle from being in the sun, so this broke. Lucky I have enough length that I was able to just go up to the shop, take this wire loose. It broke right here at the tip of the barb. So I just went up to the shop, uh, cut off a little bit that was broke, and then just put it right back on and, and twisted it tight. So. We're going to go ahead and close the valve now and we'll just do a little test against it because I had the valve wide open and it was still leaking like crazy. I tried to duct tape it the first time and that just didn't work. So okay, so our valve's closed. So now we're going to open this valve, which of course just rotates. Voila, she's holding. So now let's crank that open. Check down here. Boom. We got water and we've got yeah yeah no leaks up top so that's terrific anyway just wanted to mention that to you like I said it's probably a little bit um, you know it only applies to me maybe a few other guys who are like me and have a mill that's just sitting out in the weather and doesn't get used all that often so you get the algae build up it'll plug your hose um, and then of course yeah things just dry rot your, your fuel hoses your water hoses your belt which it's pretty well closed up but your belt could dry rot so just a little something extra you got to keep up with and it'll be a problem until i ever get around to building a proper shed over my mill i guess